sends them north to the U.S., east to Europe. I'm guessing they never make it to the Eiffel Tower, drug mules. What happens if they refuse? Santa Blanca probably holds their families hostage here. Any of the teenagers ever get away? As far as I could tell, only one. But as soon as he did, Nidia Flores sent his parents and two sisters to El Pozolero. Pozolero? The stew maker. He puts people in 200-liter drums with water and sodium hydroxide. After eight hours, there's nothing left but teeth, nails, and stew. Usually, they're already dead before they go on the drum. This time, they weren't. Fucking monsters. We got company, stay sharp. Frag out. Get ready, fire. That thing's gonna explode. Fire, fire, fire. What the hell are you doing? Take cover. We're good. Let's loot the truck, see if there are any supplies. Clear. Combo truck secure. We'll send the location of the radio gear to the rebels. Pack, this is Nomad. The convoy is secure. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. My people will make good use of those supplies. My people are searching for La Yuri y El Polito, but in the meantime, there is something else you can do for us. I have prepared a speech for the people of Bolivia. It is a call to arms that we will broadcast from Itaqua. Santa Blanca is going to send troops to shut that down as soon as they hear the transmission. You see my problem? I need someone dependable to find a radio transmitter and protect it until the broadcast is complete. Okay. <laughs> 